वेलकम गाइस वेलकम टू द मोस्ट ट्रेंडिंग ऑनलाइन कोर्स रेस्ट एपीआई ऑटोमेशन टेस्टिंग ओके सो दिस इज योर इंस्ट्रक्टर राहुल शेट्टी सो बिफोर वी गेट स्टार्टेड लेट्स सी फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स व्हिच यू नीड टू नो अबाउट दिस कोर्स राइट सो फर्स्ट व्हाट इज दिस कोर्स अबाउट सो दिस कोर्स टीचर्स यू द एपीआई ऑटोमेशन using rest assured library this library is written in java language so basically we are going to see api automation using java okay it's just like selenium how we have done using java for web automation similarly we are doing api automation with same java but instead of selenium library we are using rest assured library okay so using this library we are going to deal this api automation that's the basic thing which you need to know before you start so that you are clear that we are doing this automation using this java language on rest assured library okay don't worry this is highly trending in the latest market technology okay so this is where everyone is using now if they want to automate something in java language right next and apart from teaching api automation we will also take care of developing a framework from scratch so in this course you will not only find about this api automation and by end of this course you will also be able to develop one api framework from scratch level and don't worry i have also taken care of core java basics so even if you are not aware of java i have taken care to teach java basics as well parallelly with our api automation tutorials so that you will nowhere feel like you are disconnected no matter if you are a beginner in the programming language okay so apart from this automation we will also see how to do manual api testing using postman tool so postman tool is very commonly used across the industry for manual testing so firstly i will explain how to test api manually with postman and then i will show how to automate it using rest assured library so in this way you are going to learn both automation and manual with this postman tool okay so that's what you will get from this course there are many courses out there in the market which teaches you rest assured but there is no course in the market which explains you powerful automation framework development from scratch and you will get that in this course right so here if you see in the market there is very less competition on api automation if you post a job on selenium for one post you get around 100 resumes but for api automation it's not that easy you hardly get 10 or 20 resumes if you post a job on api automation competition is less but jobs are increasing okay so now everyone want to test their application in api layer 2 okay so this is lighter weight testing right this gives the feedback very quick compared to web automation so along with web automation people are also maintaining api automation for very quick feedback and for strong um, coverage of all test cases okay so you will learn more about why api testing is important in the coming lectures okay so the jobs are increasing and the competition is less so if you have knowledge on this api automation tool it's very easy for you to crack high paying job okay with the current technology in the market right next so you need not have any api testing prior knowledge you know that all rahul shetty courses come from scratch level training i do not assume that you have any prior testing knowledge on all these apis okay so every topic whatever i taught in this course is taken care from scratch level i know that most of you have not aware of what is api as well many of my students who mastered in this tool they joined this course without knowing what is api now they are developing framework on api automation for companies okay so that's the assurance i can give you 
on completion of this course right and so we are the only course in the market where we are using real time aps to teach this training okay i have included twitter google maps jira youtube i have shown all these apis in the course and i have explained how to actually test these apis okay so you will learn more about this in coming lectures right now i can only tell that we are using a top real time api so to demonstrate this tutorial okay now i would obviously give you the top class api material for your offline reference or to prepare for interviews and there are plenty of practice assignments because i have included some practice apis where you can play around and learn yourself by going through this tutorials okay and there are few quizzes around to test your knowledge on how you are doing with this course all those are included as part of this course okay and these will help you to clear interviews as well okay so let's quickly walk through the syllabus and see what we are going to learn from this course okay so right the first is rest api basics obviously you will start with basics on what is rest api and how rest api architecture works what are different resources available in rest api okay and then we will go through the http requests so this first section is completely dedicated to understand rest api basics and terminologies once you are clear with these basics then you know you can getting started with rest api testing meanwhile if you want to brush up your java test ng and maven for basics brush up there is around 15 hours tutorial by combining all these topics you can go through them as optional if not you can directly jump into this third section getting started with rest api testing and here where we will introduce postman a manual testing tool to test the rest apis okay so here we will be picking google maps api and then we will see how to test that api manually using postman tool okay and we will get the basics of understanding how to test api and then we'll quickly jump to setting up our automation infrastructure in our machines for rest assured you can see that setting up test project for rest assured apis so thereafter we will jump into validating rest api responses using automation script and then we will dive in depth to understand lot of things about automation like how to grab the response body for advanced validations and how to pass the response values into subsequent requests right now you may not understand what all those topics are but once you get into the course step by step you will see how important it is to learn all these topics as part of automation and we will also see how to optimize the scripts by centralizing the data instead of hard coding the values and data driven testing best practices thereafter i will introduce some automation utilities for parsing your json and xml responses this is also one of the most important lecture and you will understand many important tricks as part of this section and then we will see how to handle dynamic json payloads with parameterization you will come across this dynamic json uh, almost 50% time when you are working in your company if there are 10 apis in your company where you are going to test out of which five apis will obviously have this dynamic json nature if that is the case how to handle it through automation everything we will learn with the example of library api i'm going to take one library api as an example and demonstrate all these topics so thereafter we will be taking jira api one more real world example and see how to handle that api with the topics what we have learnt till this section and here we will also introduce a new topic called cookie authentication api okay and then after i will show one more real world example which is twitter and see how to handle oauth me authentication mechanism which is most important in twitter and we will try to retrieve tweets and publish tweets using our api automation which is more important okay and we'll deep dive into oauth authentication here right so once we are done with that we have seen enough real world examples and learn all the technologies of automation and from here onwards 
we will jump into framework development. First, we will see what is the learning plan to learn framework from the scratch and thereafter we will learn complete framework in multiple phases. Okay, in phase one we will see Maven, Jenkins, TestNG, logging and thereafter we will start developing the complete framework from scratch in two different parts after learning all the technologies required to develop framework. Okay, so in these two sections we will see how to develop the framework from scratch. And thereafter you will have Excel integration where you can put the data in Excel and then connect it to your automation test cases. So basically it's our data driven from Excel framework. Okay. And then as I said, there are few sections where you can go through basics for core Java and test ng if you are not aware of them. All right. So that's how this course is designed. If you carefully watch, we will start with the basics of what is REST API and then manual testing and thereafter how to do automation testing with all the available technologies, utilities and n number of live examples, Jira, Twitter, YouTube, Google Maps and thereafter designing a framework from scratch. So by end of this course, you will be able to design your own API automation framework and automate any API whatever you get in your company. Okay, so that's the assurance I can give you from my side, right? So, all right, so that's pretty much about this lecture. I hope you got enough information on what you are going to gain from this course. So in our next lecture, let's see how to ask trainer a question if you got stuck anywhere in the course. And from thereafter, we will directly jump into our actual topic of learning what is REST API, okay? See you in the next lecture. Thank you.